I'm Andrew Murray. And I'm Matt Scotton. Coming up on Duck TV Sports, Oregon softball is going to the Super Regionals. Plus, baseball is fighting for their postseason lives. And is Track Town USA, but do students really know their track? All that and more right now. Hello and welcome into Duck TV Sports. The Oregon men's golf team is heading to its sixth NCAA championship under head coach Casey Martin. During Martin's nine-year tenure as the head man for the golf team, Oregon has never missed the NCAA regionals. On Saturday, Oregon hit a whopping 17 birdies on the back nine, including four on the last hole alone. Oregon finished tied for fourth place in its regional and punched his ticket to the NCAA championship in the process. The NCAA championship starts on Friday, May 29th in Brad Denton, Florida. Both Diamond Sports are playing this weekend, but before we break down the teams, we'll send it to Aaron Dolan to preview this upcoming games. That's right, Matt. Both Diamonds will be packed this weekend. The women's softball team will be hosting the Super Regionals at Howe Field against North Carolina State. Switching to the men's side of the Diamond, the baseball team will be hosting a three-game series at PK Park against UCLA starting Friday, May 22nd at 2 p.m. The Ducks look to upset a top five ranked team and the number one team in the Pac-12. The UCLA Bruins, with the series concluding Sunday, May 24th. Transferring from bats to clubs, the men's golf will be traveling to the Sunshine State to compete in the NCAA Golf Championship Tournament in Bradenton, Florida. Tea time is yet to be announced, but it will take place on Friday, May 29th. Shifting our focus to track and field, the men and women's teams will be traveling to Austin, Texas a week from Thursday. The NCAA West Preliminary Round will take place May 28th to Friday the 29th. That wraps up this week's upcoming sporting events for the Oregon Ducks. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Aaron. At one point, the Oregon baseball season was a nightmare. The Ducks dropped 13 of 18 in March and April to put a four straight trip to the postseason in jeopardy. But the memories have been much sweeter of late as the team has won seven of its last eight, including four straight Pac-12 series wins. The team is coming off a sweep of Utah and Salt Lake City in which the Ducks showcased possibly the team's best starting pitching all year. And in the process, Mitchell Tolman broke the all-time program record for doubles, moving past the previous holder, Ryan Healy. The Ducks face their stiffest test of the season with a three-game set versus top five UCLA this weekend. And so, Matt, I ask you, with everything that this team has accomplished in the month of May, how do you see them faring against this potent UCLA squad? I'll give you that this team's been playing better down the stretch, but I'm still not convinced they're going to have a great showing against the UCLA Bruins. The Oregon State series was the last time that this team looked remotely good against a legit postseason team. But OSU continually shot themselves in the foot. The Ducks are a mediocre team, at best, that doesn't show up against elite competition. One lone bright spot for the team has been the play of Tim Susnara. His defense has been so impressive that it's hard to remember he's only 18 years old. One team that has been impressive for the Ducks is their softball team. This team looked great this weekend. They look unstoppable most of the year, and that did not change when they took on the regional in Eugene. Oregon went a perfect 3-0 last weekend, taking down the BYU Cougars and the NDSU Bison not once, but twice. Haley Decker must be channeling her inner Alicia Keys because this girl is on fire. Decker's riding an 11-game hit streak heading into the Super Regionals. She has four home runs and 14 RBIs during the streak. The Lady Ducks are getting set to take on the NC State Wolfpack in this weekend in the Eugene Super Regional. The Super Regionals are a best-of-three series. Chris Ahomegay pitched lights out on Saturday. Andrew, how important is it for this team to have a legit number two starter going forward in the postseason? Matt, it was absolutely paramount that Ahomegay came out the way that she did on Saturday against the Bison. Six innings pitch, just one run given up on that start. And as fantastic as Sheridan Hawkins has been, having depth in the rotation is incredibly important going into the postseason. Having an elite starter behind Hawkins will make an enormous difference as the Ducks move deeper into the postseason. Given that, do you, how do you think the Wolfpack's going to fare against the number two seeded Ducks? The Wolfpack come in attempting to spoil Oregon's fun. The Wolfpack will be led by ace pitcher Emily Wyman, who has an enormous task of slowing down this Ducks offense. It's important that Oregon doesn't stay complacent with this competition. But with the way the Ducks have been steamrolling its opponents all season long, I don't see it being much of a problem going into the Super Regionals. Expect fireworks on offense and a deadly one-two from Hawkins and from Hovengay. With spring rolling around, Oregon track and field tends to dominate the conversation in Eugene. But even with track's extensive history, can these students truly call themselves experts on the sport? We turn to Stephanie Lovell to see how much students know about this team. 
With the track and field Pac-12 championships happening May 16th and 17th in Los Angeles, I took it to the streets to find out how much our University of Oregon students know about the sport of track and field. Uh, hurdles, uh, 4x4, 4x1, 100 meter dash, long jump, high jump, uh, triple jump. Okay, hurdles, shot put, javelin, meter, running. Mm. <laughs> 800, 400, um, pole vault. Oh, I already said hurdles, didn't I? Shot put. Um, oh gosh, I'm falling into a deep hole. <laughs> Number one, It'd be number one for sure, or number two. I don't know. It depends how strong their sprints are, because that's kind of where we tend to like fall behind. Uh, a lot of the like SEC schools are tough for that, um, but I, I think they'll definitely be either first or second. I think they'll do great. They have a really strong team, both women's and men. So I think they'll do great. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you do this like spin thing and you're just like, ah, and you throw it. Gotta get Archer back, huck it. As you just saw, the students here on campus are very excited and optimistic about the track team's success. They send their support from Tracktown USA to Los Angeles, where the team will compete in the Pac-12 championships. Reporting for Duck TV Sports, I'm Stephanie Lovell. Man, I don't know about you, but that shot put form didn't look too clean. <laughs> I would make a joke, but my form is pretty bad myself. There's a reason I'm not on scholarship here for my shot put ability. Well, that's all the time we have here at Duck TV Sports. Follow us on Twitter at Duck TV Sports. And don't forget to check us out online for news and analysis. We'll be taking a week off from Memorial Day weekend, but we'll be back the week after with everything Oregon sports. For Matt Scotton, I'm Andrew Murray. Have a great night, Eugene. <laughs>